Welcome to Animal A Day. 30 Facts, 30 Animals, Volume 8. Quahogs don't move very much or very far, but when they do want to, they open their shells and release a muscle to use like a hand and drag themselves through the sand. Moving is a slow process. It can take an hour just to move 8 inches or 20 centimeters. The oldest dog ever recorded used to be a Queensland healer named Bluey who lived to 29 years and 5 months old. Bluey held the record for over 80 years until just a few months ago when a, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this, named Bobby was found to be over 30 years old. Queen snakes are specialized feeders and primarily prey on crayfish. They are even able to detect and capture crayfish that are hiding in their burrows. Male quetzals are known for their exceptionally long tail feathers. They can reach over 2 feet or 61 centimeters in length. Female tail feathers are much shorter. Quals are vicious carnivores who often pin down prey and eat them alive with their razor sharp teeth. They also have no problem hunting bigger prey. Raccoon dogs, also called tanuki, are two species of canine raccoon lookalikes in the carnivora order. The similar appearance of raccoon dogs to raccoons is coincidental and surface level. Raccoon dogs are much more closely related to your family dog than they are to raccoons. Ragdoll cats are considered one of, if not the, most popular cat breed. They got their name from the fact they go almost limp or ragdoll-like when picked up. One of the most striking features of rainbow boas is their iridescent scales. Although their scales aren't rainbow colored in and of themselves, they reflect light in a way that gives the snakes a rainbow-like appearance, hence their name. After mating, male rias will build a nest for the females to lay their eggs in. After all the eggs are laid, the male will incubate them for about 6 weeks and then raise them himself. He will chase anything that comes near his chicks, including their own mothers. The term rhino seems to mean nose in Greek, while cirrus seems to mean horn, meaning they're basically named nose horns. That's very on the nose, pun intended. There was a Rhodesian Ridgeback at the San Diego Zoo that was best friends with a cheetah. The dog's name was Reina, and she was introduced to a cheetah named Ruxa in 2014 after his mother rejected him for having front leg defects. They wanted something to keep Ruxa company. They were immediately attached at the hip and were friends throughout each other's various medical problems until recently when Reina passed away. Ribbon eels are called that because, well, they look like colorful flowing ribbons. Newborn larvae are transparent, but as they grow into juveniles, they turn black. Then as they get older, they get their famous blue color on their bodies and yellow on their dorsal fins. Then finally, once they become female later in life, they become almost completely yellow. Younger sand dollars are able to clone themselves they can rip themselves in two smaller functional beings. It's thought they do this to make themselves smaller, and thus harder for predators to detect. Stetland Sheepdogs, or Shelties, are a breed of medium-sized herding dogs originating in the remote Stetland Archipelago in Scotland. It's thought they were bred to make a smaller herding dog that required less food. Some of the breeds believed to have been possibly used in the creation are Rough Collies, Border Collies, Greenland Yaquis, King Charles Spaniels, and Pomeranians and other Spitz breeds. Sidewinders don't move like normal snakes. Instead of slithering more or less straight ahead with their entire bodies, they throw their bodies diagonally with only their heads and tails touching the ground. Sloths form a symbiotic relationship with sloth moths. These moths help algae grow on their fur, which camouflages the sloth amongst the trees. In return, the sloth lets these moths live on them and lay their eggs in its poop. Spoonbill birds prefer to forage on foot in shallow water. They use their bills to feel for prey in murky water in swinging arcs and can detect prey through touch alone. 
squirrels can eat about as much as they weigh every week. This would be equivalent to an average human eating 20 pounds or 9 kilograms of food every single day. Stick insects have a unique form of camouflage in which they resemble sticks, small tree branches, plant stems, and leaves. Some species even sway in the wind like surrounding branches. Tailless whip scorpions are basically harmless to humans, despite looking like a nightmare. They don't have venom, claws, or stingers, and are pretty docile towards people. The worst that could happen is getting pricked by one of their spikes, but even then you'd only feel a tiny bit of pain for a second with no other side effects. Tapirs are a family of four species of strange-looking, medium-sized, rotund mammals. All of the species but one are endangered. They have what looks like a mini elephant trunk. This elongated nose is prehensile, meaning they can use it like a hand and grab objects. So they can use their nose to put food in their mouths. Tasmanian devils have sharp claws and fangs used to rip and tear. Their jaws are thought to be the most powerful out of any mammal and can be opened almost 90 degrees. It was considered good luck to be accompanied by Tibetan terriers. Not only that, but it was considered bad luck for you and your whole town if one was sold or harmed in any way by someone. Tiger sharps are called that because they form obvious stripes that resemble a tiger's pattern as adolescents. These stripes fade over time though, and are hard to see as they get older. Turicos are the only known bird family whose red and green feathers are true red and green. Other birds with red and green feathers basically just reflect those colors, while Turacos have the red turricin and the green turricoverdin pigments throughout their wings. These tiny frogs are called turtle frogs because they kind of look like a little turtle without its shell. They also act like turtles since they dig ahead of them with their upper limbs instead of behind them with their rear limbs like most frogs. The bald wakari's head shape, color, and baldness makes it look like Captain America's nemesis the Red Skull. Because its head doesn't contain a lot of fat, it gives it a more skull-like appearance. The wings of a Ulysses butterfly are colored a brilliant iridescent turquoise, not from pigment, but rather structural coloration. This basically means light reflects into blue after bouncing off their microscopic prismic scales. Whether an alligator will be male or female is actually influenced by the temperature. Cooler temps will make them female, while warmer temps will create males. Some scorpions glow a turquoise color when exposed to black lights or ultraviolet light. It's not totally known why they do this, but some think this might help with light detection. Thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.